my plan is to take this jamming block off the deck but it looks like there are four screws there's going to be one there one there and then there's uh, two in the back here well that wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be I've been stressing about it for years thinking it was going to be really hard um, okay so I used a 10 mil ratchet uh, underneath so I managed to reach in from underneath and hold a screwdriver at the same time so using a 10 mil ratchet spanner because it you, you don't have to keep taking it on and off there's not enough room for a socket so I had to use a ratchet spanner um, then once you've got all the nuts off and any washers that might fall off um, start unscrewing the bolts and leave at least a little bit of thread in because when it comes to taking the last one out it can move around a bit right that's it off the deck so now all I've got to do is take it apart I've got the jamming block off the hook at the moment I am not aware of the make or indeed the model uh, but I can see that there are four long screw bolts that go all the way through to the back and then there is one uh, pin which has some circlips on it so the next plan is to take it apart the long screw bolts screw head bolts and the small nuts came off exceptionally easy I don't know whether that's standard or not but I think when I put them back together I'm going to use a, just a tiny little bit of Loctite now I take these apart it's literally just a case of separating the bits now be careful because there are some bits so this is one of the fairing rings which goes in the back there this is a bit that will fall off it's a shaped washer so it's got a flat side and a curved side and the way it was made or when it was put together when I took it apart was that the shaped side is towards the out fits into this little plastic divot in here so the bit I need to service is this bit here on the other side I think oh no, no it is this one yeah this is the one that's giving me trouble because it's just letting the rope uh, back again so we'll have a look at how worn it is we take this out and we can see that there's a groove across the teeth there and that's where the rope is slipping so I could probably do with a new rope or I just need a new one of these you can also see that it's absolutely full of rubbish so that's not going to help but I think what I need to do is determine the, um, the make model of this particular jamming cleat jamming block whatever you want to call it and then see if we can find some spare parts the second part of the jamming mechanism is, is obviously this tooth here or this piece here to get at that take that off take the metal plate off the handle comes out as well and then just take that out off there like that 
and it should just fall off the spring. Don't lose the spring. And then if we have a look at this, we can see that there's quite a bit of wear in there as well. So what I could do is I could just uh, take bits or inspect the bits on the other side, which we'll do anyway, to see if they need replacing. Uh, but if they're good, I could use them in this side. Get into the central bit now, and there are two pins that go through both sides, so don't lose the individual bits. Like that. And the two plates. And then the central bit, which has also got these shaped washers in. Well, they look like bushings, actually. Yep, the bushings go all the way through. Okay, so the next thing is to uh, give everything a clean.